We did it. <sighs> we did it. It's over. It's done with. I feel so much fucking better about the fact that it's done. The dogs were fine. I came back and they weren't like screaming or unhappy about everything, which makes me feel better. Oh my god, the first Uber driver though. The first Uber driver was like very... <sighs> he was like, how are you doing? Like going to the hospital, how are you? And I was just like, yep, mad anxiety, but otherwise good. And he was just like, oh, just don't worry about it. And I laughed because I was like, you know, yeah, okay, okay. Um, and he kind of paused for a second and then was like, you know, just, just you should go for a jog when you get anxiety attacks and like listen to music. And I was like, yeah, that's not bad, you know does that works all right like <laughs> i wish that i just didn't want to engage with him uh, but i would have liked to be like yeah wow you know i think let's just go on more jogs and more music that'll get rid of the cptsd symptoms i wanted to make it obvious that it's not this fucking simple but i also just didn't want to engage so i was just like yeah those are okay and um we did go for a walk <laughs> like we did we did do that. And uh, then he started saying, you know, doctors are just so useless and nothing they tell you is helpful. And I was just like, we have gone back and forth to the doctors like a whole, not like, for a lot of years, since we were like 12. And we have met a lot of really horrible technicians and GPs that really did tell us bullshit and really did be like, oh, you're just clearly making it up. It's all in your head instead of being like trauma informed. So I could agree a bit to be like, they can be a pain, but like kind of very non-commental feeling about it, but it's so fucking hard to feel safe disagreeing in other parts of me and I could feel it. And um, then he said, oh, I've got this friend that... <laughs> I've got this friend that charges you £1,200 and he looks in your eyes and just checks your nerves and tells you what's wrong and I was just like, mm. I don't think I said anything to that actually, I think I just stayed silent and he was just like, you know, he just charges this much and I was like, yeah, no, that's not something I'm gonna do, I do not have anywhere near, I thought he said 200 so I was like, I don't have 200 quid. I'm going to the NHS, like, I don't have money for these things. And he was like, yeah. Well, no, he's a private doctor. So, you know, if you do have the money for private, then you just better to go deal with him. I was like, I definitely don't. I'm, just, I'm not, I do not have anywhere near that money. And he was just like, well, you know, he uses herbal medicine and stuff. And I just felt like I just don't want to engage with this. But then I actually felt other parts of me check in on me specifically. Unlike, like I really felt them think about the other day when I was working, like, as a part of me that identifies as a persecutor, I was dealing with my own stuff, making sure that I didn't get unnecessarily defenses, defensive, but thus my anger and my emotions got completely sidelined, dealing with the heating check dude. And this time I felt every part of me like specifically think about that and check in with me to like give me space to respond and to be there and like back me up pull me forwards and not leave which was a very different feeling and I felt myself like able to think about how I wanted to respond and I was like yeah no I'm sus I just I come from an anti-vax family so I'm very sus of herbal medicine some of it's okay but like no this sounds sounds sus and he was just like oh no you know it's just herbal so it's not going to do anything if if I was just like no <laughs> like I do not have the money and I'm sus of it and he kind of stopped talking at that point, which was nice. And then <sighs> I feel very grateful that I was given that space by other parts of me. I had to still compromise because I wanted it to come out full persecutor. So maybe we'll go up in levels. And um, then the actual sort of appointment itself was relatively quick. Triggering, but not too triggering. Um, I managed to stay mostly in the room, dissociated a bit. Vince took over for a little bit of it. Ryan came into the room with us and said well done when it was done. I'm really appreciative of that. The technicians were very quick and both female, so, well, at least femme presenting, which was really relieving because I've had things like this done where I've been alone in the room with a guy technician and that is, like, way too fucking triggering. <sighs> so this that was, like, 
pretty over and done with pretty soon everything seems to be okay um the gp will get the results and we'll go from there soon and the uber driver back was much quieter and much less dodge pyramid selling vibes so <sighs> this is so pushy it's like definitely his friend that he's trying to push business to <sighs> very relieved very grateful very proud of us very exhausted